Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another Homebrew Wednesday. I think this one's number 26, if I'm not mistaken, but you know me, I might be. I tend to get these kinds of things wrong. Titles and numbers and things, they don't agree. I gotta pour myself a beer before we get into the date today's topic, which is a question that I got on one of my recent videos. How do I wash my beer glasses? I'll show you, but first I wanna pour myself a beer. And this is a Upper Canada Dark Ale. I'm gonna give this a shot, give this a whirl. Actually, let's pour this on camera right over here. All right, cheers. 17, oh, it smells nice. I like that. That's a nice dark ale. This is not a beer review, but um, I do find that the Upper Canada Brewery up here in, in Guelph, is it Guelph, Ontario, I believe, does make some, well, they make two nice beers, uh, the dark lager and, sorry, the dark ale and the lager. And um, it's been a while since I've tried these, and uh, they are actually quite, quite good. Um, they're quite good, um, so if you live around around here, give them a try. They're not that expensive, actually, and um, you know they're considered a, a budget craft beer, so you know not too bad. Cheers. Okay, well that glass was washed with a tiny bit of dish soap, and then salted. And that's how I do my glasses, and I'll show you. Now, there's, when I got that, asked that question, I, I took a look on the forums, I uh, took a look around YouTube, and there really isn't, it's one of those things where there's not a definitive answer, as far as I can tell. Um, so I'll show you what I do, and then I'll, I'll give you some other alternatives that you can try, and I'll give them a try as well. And then maybe next Wednesday we'll conglomerate again and we'll uh, give our findings on the next Homebrew Wednesday <coughs> video. Okay, so let's take a glass. Let me grab a, let me see, where have we got one here? Here's a, yeah, that one's, that one's relatively dirty. It's been used. So let's move the camera over to my sink and I'll show you what I usually do. Okay. The first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is wash out the glass. Because if there's beer in the glass, you want to rinse it out. If you've already rinsed out your glass, after you use it, then you're golden. But I didn't with this one. Just get it all off the bottom there. And basically rinse it. Okay, so now we have a glass that's rinsed. But how do we know there's not any grease from your fingers, you're eating potato chips, you're handling the glass, or your, your lips have potato chip grease on them, you're drinking out of the glass, maybe you rinsed the inside of your glass with your hand, you got oil on the inside of your glass now, and that's going to destroy your head retention and whatnot, okay? Now, there's two things people talk about for washing glasses. Dish soap, and salt. Okay, a lot of people don't like to use dish soap because they feel that it leaves a residue on the glass, and I tend to agree. Um, when you wash your dishes with this kind of soap, whether it's sunlight or any other brand, it doesn't matter, this just happens to be what I have here. Um, when you wash your dishes with soap, I find that the water tends to run off of the dishes quite smoothly, creating like a sheeting action so that your dishes don't dry spotty. Okay, um, so I'm wondering if there's some sort of a residue on your glass. And you know what? When you wash your dishes and you dry your hands afterwards, what do you smell? Dish soap. Okay, so there's, it's got to be leaving something behind. All right, so that's out of the picture. Can't use that. Salt. Well, salt will clean the glass. It's sort of an abrasive. It won't scratch the glass, but it will 
clean and get any, any residue off the glass, but it's not a soap. It will not get rid of any grease or oils from your skin on the glass. Okay? Well, that's out of the picture. Well, now what do we do? Someone told me something a long time ago that the salt actually gets rid of the residue left behind by the soap. And I have had a lot of luck cleaning my glasses in the following way. Get yourself a little bit of this dish soap. Doesn't matter what brand. You just want a little drop like that. Some hot water. You don't want a lot. Just a little drop. Fill it up a little bit with water. And just give it a wash. The same way you would normally do when you're doing dishes. Okay, this is a no-brainer. Side and out. Try to get down on the bottom. Use a sponge, whatever you want. Give the glass a good wash with the soap. Okay? Now it's got all the grease off of it, oils, whatever. Okay? Now you can try letting this drip dry and then pouring a beer into it and see what you get. All right, the rule of thumb is if it's squeaky like that, it's probably it's probably not got any soap residue on it. Okay, that's what I think anyway. Squeaky clean means squeaky clean. All right? But if you're a little worried, why not get the salt? Okay? And just do it down the sides. You've probably seen this on YouTube. Now when it comes out like that, according to some beer enthusiasts, that means that the glass is actually clean. Then the salt sticks to the glass evenly like that. Mind you, I didn't dry the glass very well. So I don't know about that. I just know that when you use the salt, go in with your hand, and this gets rid of any soap residue that might have been left behind by the soap. Okay? Kind of feels like you're in the, on a beach building a sand castle. It's a little weird feeling, but there you go. And it is abrasive. I don't think it scratches the glass. Never had that problem. But I was asked how I do this, and this is how I do it. Okay, and then we're going to give this a good rinse again. And that's how I clean my beer glasses. I never put them in the dishwasher. Okay, Get off my hand. Real time, no edits. That's what I do. And of course, squeaky clean. Okay, and we'll just let that drip dry. That's a clean, that's a clean glass. Okay. First beer of the day, by the way. Okay. Other things that I've seen suggested, and I did do, you know, like I said, a little poking around on forms and things like that. Our friend, OxyClean. I use this to clean my kegs. And sometimes my some of my other equipment. <coughs> There's instructions on the back here how to clean hard surfaces. I would consider a glass a hard surface. You mix up a liter of this stuff with a scoop, one scoop of this per liter, or whatever measurement you guys quartz and then God knows what else you guys use down in the U.S. Um, soak your glasses in OxyClean. I've never tried it, but I will. I will try it. And um, I'll see, you know, and then give them a good rinse again. Um, who knows? Okay? So that's another thing you can try. Also, <clears throat> something I have tried, although I haven't put it to the test of pouring a beer into it, Star Sand. And we're all still wondering what we're supposed to do with our cloudy star sand, because apparently we haven't got the definitive answer still. 
whether the stuff works or not, and Imoladius and I are actually working on that, on that for you guys. In the meantime, this is considered, chemically, it's a soap. Okay? This is a soap. I mean, why do you think it goes bubbly like that? So, why not? Here, let's grab a, another glass. Let's see, is this one dirty? Oh yeah, that's, that's really dirty. SJ Poor, by the way, thanks buddy for this Homebrew Wednesday idea. It's caught on real big. It was a great idea, and I think we're all having a lot of fun with it. Gives us an opportunity to um, to connect once a week, and it certainly gives us something to watch rather than television. So Star Sand, okay, and it's already a clean glass, but Star Sand is a soap. It's a detergent, so why not use it to clean, you know, your glass? Get your grease and all that stuff off of there because you really don't want any grease inside your glass okay so don't throw the cloudy star sand out just yet use it to wash and you can always reuse it because you already had the clean glass okay and because we're not trying to sanitize we're only trying to clean it so give it a rinse okay Here we are. That's clean. Whoops. Oh, sorry. Those are the those are the things that I have discovered. Other than that, tr um, once you've washed your glass and you've got it, you know, the beer is reacting nicely in in the glass. Um, then just rinse it out after you use it. Give these things a try. Tell us what you think down in the comments section, and uh, by next week maybe uh, we'll all have. Um... In other words, tell us what you how you clean your glasses at the present time, okay? And then try some of these different methods, and come back next week and tell us what you thought of these different methods or other methods that you've come up with as well, how to clean your glasses. It's very important. It does not only affect homebrew; it also affects store-bought beer as well. Um, the type of glass and the, how the glass is washed has a pretty big on, uh, impact on how the beer looks when it's poured. Also, the way it's poured has a pretty big impact on the flavor of the beer, the look of the beer, and the mouthfeel of the beer. So pouring it is also a big deal. And some people have... I got different ways I do it, but for the most part, I sort of do it the way you saw me do it at the beginning of this video. But, different styles of beer, I might change it up a little bit. It comes with experience. You know, you try what works for you. You try different ways. Buy a case of six-pack of beer. Try pouring it different ways. Try different cleaning methods. You'll hit what works for you. I don't recommend dishwashers. Anyway, that's it for me. I'm out. Thanks for watching another week of uh, uh, Homebrew Wednesday. Oh, I forgot the name of the damn thing. And, uh, you know, check out all the other Homebrew Wednesday videos as best you can. Um, I'm... Gonna go. It's getting too long. Cheers, guys. 17. Take care.